as you can see guys um the name of this video is why i quit fast food i'm not gonna say where you know to protect the privacy of everyone but um uh i was i started working in fast food around april 2018 this year and my last day will be october 6 2018 Actually, no, 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 it'll actually be, um, let me get my calendar, I guess I was just updated this night, my last day will be September 29th, 2019, so close enough to October, so you got April, May, June, July, August, September, so I was there for six months, and, um, I mostly did the, uh, overnight shift, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. every week. It was just a part-time job, obviously. But um, why did I quit? That's a convoluted question with the convoluted answers. Um, to break it down as simple as possible, um, I just uh, I disagreed with how this system tried to get me used to tried to get me used to having customers be rude to me now most people will say oh you get used to it blah 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 you know you just gotta toughen up your skin or you'll, you'll learn how to deal with it um what I was trying to explain to a co-worker is being yelled at or being or having rudeness towards you is not something normal people should get used to if someone's rude to you you should react properly but I'm not gonna work in a place where this is considered normal because it's not um, if you ever walk into a fast food place, right? How many minorities do you see? I have so many stories about how fast food is so wrong. And the majority of it revolves around the employees, usually minorities, being easy targets for people have had a bad day just got off work um, and those people in some cases need someone to take out that aggression on and usually it's the employees um, let's let, let me just let me just be a little bit more specific here all right let's do a little counting right here so I've been yelled at I had a a couple racial slurs directed to me. Um, I almost got spit on. Um, I think I'm forgetting some stuff, but those are the major stuff. Um, uh, one of my coworkers was um, actually berated by a gentleman who felt we were accusing him of stealing a cheeseburger when there was no accusation ever made. We just have to check the bag to make sure we didn't miss it and it's not somewhere hidden in the bag. But apparently this customer didn't get that and um, he referred to my assistant manager, very nice girl. Um, he referred to her as a cunt with his wife and kids in the car. And it got to the point where the other customers were honking at him through drive through of course. and. He just kept going on. Just there was no stopping that freight train. Um, so, uh, I mean, there's just there's just like no. As I was explaining to my court, if I give you respect as a customer. Is it hard to believe that I expect respect back? I mean, isn't that how human interaction is supposed to work? 
at least in a civilized society that we claim to live in. So, um, it's just, uh, yeah, I just, I don't want to be cold and emotionless. I don't want to accept that it's okay to um, just verbally attack people who are serving you, who are touching your food. Um, I just, uh, I just don't get it. Um, I mean, I lost, I lasted longer than I thought I would, but, uh, cause I, I actually did work in fast food when I was 16. It was one of my first jobs. And, um, I, I had a feeling of what to expect, but you know, gullible me thought things were different. Things would change. Um, but the only thing that's changed are the prices. And, uh, you know that saying, people never change. But, uh, I guess that's that. Um, if you look at some other jobs, it's almost holiday time. <sighs> well, I'll talk to you guys later.